Warning, this game may contain flashing lights and effects as well as depictions of violence and strong language. Well, we have that thing now. This is Project Cat, Paper Lily Prologue. So, uh, this is going to be a bit of a weirder one that we're playing. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it, but we're just going to go right into it and hopefully be good. Hi, it's very bright. Oh. Well, this is very adorable looking. Use up, down, and I have to move. Okay. Awesome. This reminds me of like old school, uh, uh, what, are, what were those called? Uh, whoa, press Z to interact with the environment. Uh, it reminds me of those old school, um, indie horror RPGs, the, the ones from RPG Maker. There's a white flower on the ground. Z to pick up items. Take flower? Yes. Obtain white flower. Press X to see your menu and your items. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, this is cool so far. Where the hell are we? The building ahead seems locked somehow. To use an item, stand close and select it from the menu. Okay, so I just need to... The flower sank into the water. I don't like that sound. I don't like what I'm looking at. Hello. Pity. You thought that would work? You should be more careful about the decisions you make. Solution may seem obvious, but there's always another way. You may not notice it right away, but your actions will have an impact sooner or later. You may not remember what you did to cause it. Sadly, regret is always in the shadow of choice. Also, you know very well this isn't your home. So why do you mess with things that don't belong with you? You're not welcome here. Look, this is the result of your actions. The result of your expectations. Things are not always what they seem. What do you think? No, the birdie! Does this still look like a flower to you? No. You're not prepared to deal with the truth. Not, apparently, are you? I can't stop you from coming here. But if you're foolish enough to cross my path, I'll kill you myself. Oh my god. Such is the way of our world. Whoa, weird dream. Everyone must be gone already. Looks like it's 11. I should get to it. Get to what? Oh. Oh, no. You moved it. I didn't, I swear. You know I hate this type of thing. This can't possibly be happening. It's spelled die. Oh my, oh no. Stop joking around, this is serious. Uh, we should not have played with this. I told you we were gonna be cursed. Why are we ouija -ing? What was that? Is that a ghost? We summoned a ghost! Oh my god, oh my god. You're making too much noise. Oh. It's just cat. It's me! Hello, me! Aw, oh, I'm adorable. What's with the crazy knocking? What was that for? Did that spook you? You're not supposed to be here, you know. I can say the same about you. Why are you here? Actually, say hello to the new member of the occult club. I had a wonderful opportunity to meet all the members yesterday. I never recall seeing you there. You three are not part of the club, are you? That's funny, I didn't pin you of all people as the occult cut bleh, occult type cat. That's because I'm not. H hey, we were doing something here. I'll save you the trouble. All three of you move it. What? 
the planchette from your game. You all moved it. There's no ghosts in the room. There's a simple scientific explanation. It's called the ideal motor. What the fuck? Simply put, just like your body reacts to pain reflectively, reflexively, I can't fucking talk today. It may also react to ideas and move on its own. It pretty much bypasses a part of the brain which we use for conscious behavior. It's not all that different from blinking or breathing. The effect is even stronger with a bunch of gullible people who are desperate to believe in ghost stories get together and play. There was an experiment where players blindfolded and suddenly the ghost could no longer spell messages. You could try it if you don't believe me. In other words, your mysterious answers from belong, beyond, are really just your imagination playing tricks on you. Wow, way to- like, I was just about to say that! You must be fun at parties. Thanks a lot, cat. Always a pleasure. Alright, time to search. I should go over to my notes to make sure I don't forget anything. Oh. Hello, a stuffed crow. An interesting choice of decoration. Crows can save your game. Save often, the future is uncertain. Alright! Crows save my game! That's lit! I bet you think you're so funny. We have other plans for that night anyway. Whatever you say. What are you looking at? I don't know, apparently you, bitch. She's really concentrated on fixing her ribbon. Best not... Okay. Suspicious news articles and posters representing magic circles. Cool bleed breeze close it. Yes, close that window. Okay, well, what do I do now? It's a box for the game the girls were playing. It says Ouija Game Board. For two to four players, get answers from beyond. They spell Ouija wrong. Warning, we take no responsibility for adverse effects playing this game could cause you or your loved ones. Such as disappointment, I presume? Oh, there's some chalk here. Take chalk? Yeah, take it! Obtain chalk. Draw something on the chalkboard? Yeah, do it! What should I draw? A butt! <laughs> uh, a flower. It's done. Oh! That was the most pointless thing you've done today. <laughs> Thanks! Some books and jars are filled with something. Cardboard boxes marked with a symbol. They're sealed with tape. The runes my friends mentioned may be in here, but I need a way to open it. Objective updated. Okay. So... A trash can seems to be full. Can I go through the bag? School bag. There's something shiny inside. Do you need something? Maybe later. This book entitled The Truth Beyond... Oh, Behind Mermaids Exposed. Door one open. Small plants, their quiet existence fascinates you. A drawer underneath is empty. An expansion loop. Turn it on! What are you even doing? Just looking around. I need something to open this with. Thick purple book. Also, it looks fake. Spherical model of the earth, red crosses mark certain locations. I need something sharp. Do you have something sharp? Hello? What do I have? Oh! Alright, so I need to search the school for the items first. Okay. Chalk. Candles, lighter, ritual notes. So I need three rooms, 12 candles, a lighter, a rune, a tuft of hair, chalk. Uh, sort the desks in each classroom, turn off all the lights and draw the curtains in each classroom. Draw a path going through three windows with chalk. In the middle room, place one candle on each desk. Light the candles and wait at least five minutes. After waiting, burn the tuft of hair on one of the candles. Blow out all the candles, close your eyes and count to 100. Open your eyes and then... Okay. Oh. The reason I'm running in the hallways. Yeah, bitch! I'm gonna run! <laughs> Alright, let's see. According to my notes... I need to move the desks to the sides in all three rooms. 
Okay. Then I can draw a path in the middle of each one with chalk. Well, I'll leave the chalk drawing for last. I want to gather everything I need first. Should I sort the desks in the classroom now? Yes. Let's get started. Push the desk into green zones to complete the puzzle. This is really weird. I'm... <laughs> this is cool, but really weird. Whoops! Oh no! Come on! Don't... Oh, fucking... There we go. Alright. Can I do... Oh. She said she wanted to save the chalk for last. So let's go... Uh, let's go to the other classrooms and move those. Should I sort the desks in the classroom now? Yeah, sure. Oh, God. Um, okay. There we go. Phew. All right, we're, we're making progress. Uh, shelves for the students to place the school bags. There are no bags right now, though. Of course not. It's fucking nighttime. Why are we in school at night anyway? That's what I want to know. This is Theater Cubs room. I don't think I need anything from here. Okay, so one, two, three. Is this the other classroom, then? Should I sort the desks? Yes. It should be easy. Oh, okay, so this one was this one was the easiest one. Cause most of the desks are already where they need to be. Nice. Okay, that was easy. Uh can we do the chalk thing now? Said he wanted to wait until the last Oh yeah. I already have enough chalk, but the more the merrier. Well, I have more chalk! Hey, there it is! A pair of scissors, yes, take the scissors. Got him. Alright, now we can go get the rune. Whoops. Need a way to open this. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Finally, let's cut this open. There's a bunch of useless trash in here. Aha! This little box may be it. There's the runes, but the original didn't mention a specific one. Which one said I take? Let's take the weird B. Protective rune. Okay. Did it say anything? It doesn't say anything about a specific rune. Okay, I gotta go draw the curtains. Draw the curtains. Uh oh, the curtains here are missing. Curtain to the ritual structures, I need to black out all the rooms. Maybe the theater clubs has some uh, curtains I can borrow. Okay, so we gotta go to the theater club. Let's go to this classroom first though. And then we'll go to the theater room. Whoops, son of a bitch. Okay. Cedar Club. I wonder if any of the girls are a member of this club. Okay, so I gotta go see the girls. I'm sure one of them is a... Well, they have to be. Otherwise, this is gonna be all for naught. Say, are any of you members of the theater club? Not really. Not really. Not me. Who wants to know? Where is the talent agent waiting outside? He's only interested in teenage girls with a passion for role-playing, though. What is it that you want? I just need to borrow something from the club room. You have the key with you, don't you? Hmm. Fine, you can have it. If you do me a favor first, I'll do you a favor. I'll conveniently forget to tell the principal that you three broke into the school at night. Deal? Aren't you trespassing too? So what's the favor you need? Get my notebook in class 3C under the desk. 
Should I get the notebook? Ah, yeah, fuck it. Why not? You will? Then when you find it, please don't look through it. Sure, sure. I'll look through it if I want to! Uh, I'm assuming 3C is this one over here. There's a red notebook here. This looks like that girl's private journal. Look through it. Nah, we'll, we'll be nice. We'll be nice and not look through it. But I really want to read it! C is on the second row, blah, blah, blah. Is this your notebook? Yeah, that's it. I hope you didn't look through it. Nope, your secrets are safe. Alright, here's the key. Bring it back when you're done with it. Thanks. We probably could have looked through it without any repercussion, but I didn't want to chance it. I'm sure there would have been some sort of weird thing that happened had I have read it. I have the key! Uh, right here. Pella neatly folded drapes. Take them! Those could be useful. Is there anything else in here that I need? Okay. I don't think there's anything else that I need. Uh, we need to go to 2C. Here we go. Uh, this should do the trick. Perfect. Awesome. Alright. Uh, let's see. Uh, three rooms, 12 candles, a lighter... A rune, a tuft of hair, and chalk. So I need a tuft of hair. Set the desk, turn off all the lights, and draw the curtains. Uh, draw a path going through three rooms with chalk. So... I do not have everything you need? Uh... Something like this. Windows closed, curtains, white chalk lines, desk, candle on each. There's no lights. So I'm assuming that the lights are off. Oh, I need a tuft of hair. Well, I need a tuft of hair for the ritual. Should I cut my own hair? I guess. Here I go, I suppose. I never want to do that again. All right, cool. Oh, that's funky. Well, my lines aren't perfect, but it should do the job. Uh, I need to do this in all three rooms. All right. Let's go back to the first room. So we were in the middle room there. Cool beans. Two down, one to go. Excuse me? The music stopped and I heard something. Oh. Oh. Who was in here? Hello? I don't like this. I don't like the way that this is going. Stuff is happening and I'm not appreciative of it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Objectives. Set and light candles. Uh, I need to set and light candles on the top of thresks, on the top of the desks in classroom 3B. Okay. Uh, do I have to do it to each freaking? Okay, thank God. Whoops. I thought I was going to have to do it for each one. I was going to get really upset. Okay, light them all. Candle is unlit. Okay, it's very bright in here now. Everything's ready. All that's left is wait five minutes to burn hair. It's going to be such a pain to clean up. 
Why do you have to clean it up? Are we gonna die, though? I don't know what this ritual is for. Seriously, stop messing with my things. But everything I mess with ends up being a scam. What if someday it isn't? What if you end up summoning some ghost or the devil and condemning your soul to an eternity in another world? What if your soul is already damned? Then I guess that's what's waiting for me after I die. Cat! It was a joke. You're not gonna find him this way, you know. You'll just do whatever you want no matter what I say, won't you? It's possible. Stubborn idiot. I prefer ambitious idiot. So, will you tell me where the letter is? You exhaust me, cat, you know that? And yet, here we are. Fine, you win. It's in the occult club. There's a golden envelope in one of the drawers, but they won't let you sniff around since you're not a member. Thanks, you're the best. Huh? Is there somebody at the door? I didn't notice the handprint. Oh! Oh, they're gone. There's a golden envelope in the drawer. These are the instructions for the ritual. Thankfully, I shortened them when I wrote my notes. Read the full ritual? Yes! You must play alone. Requirements. Three dark adjacent room, 12, lander, 12 candles, a lighter or matches, a room, a tuft of human hair, and white chalk or white paint. Preparation. Start after the sun is set. All three rooms must be pitch black. Turn off all the lights. Draw the curtains and close the doors. Use the chalk or paint. Draw a path going through the three rooms. This path will serve to connect your current location to your destination. In the middle room, place six candles on each side of the drawn path parallel to it. Instructions. Light one of each candle and let them burn for at least five minutes. From this point, you can no longer abort the ritual. After the five minutes have passed, burn a tuft of hair of one of the candles. Proceed to blow out all the candles one by one. When the last candle is put out, close your eyes and count to a hundred. Open your eyes. To remember, you must always close the door behind you. Leaving it open may attract unwanted attention. Do not let the rune out of your pos possession. It is your only protection. Do not bring any weapons with you. If you arm yourself, so are they. Should anything be heard or felt when you count to one hundred, it must be ignored. Do not open your eyes. Do not turn on the lights. Do not move. It's normal to feel like you are not alone. You won't be. This is fucking freaky. I don't know how to... F God damn it. That scares me every single time. Okay, has it been five minutes? Burn a hair tuft on a candle. Let's do this. Alright, now I just have to blow the... Huh? The candles? Did they just... I guess I should count to a hundred. What am I doing this? This ridiculous game couldn't possibly work. I wonder if Mama's worried about me. What was that? What's all that noise? Is anyone there? It worked? It worked! I can't believe it! This is incredible! But where am I? It's a hallway? Definitely isn't a school. This is unbelievable. How could it have worked? It doesn't make any logical sense. I was in the classroom a minute ago. Have I gone mad? This is so exciting! I can't believe it worked! If I wake up from this and it turns out to be a dream, well, that would be disappointing to say the least. Okay, I definitely need to check this place out. Yes, I wish to save my player. Oh? Hold up while moving and climb the stairs. Small door with an odd pattern. It's... Door with an odd pattern. It's very locked. Door with an odd pattern. It's locked. Door with an odd pattern. It's locked. Door with a glassy finish. You can see yourself in it. It's locked. Uh. 
Okay. Fairly normal looking door. It's locked. Okay. Well, what do I do with that then? That's strange. Have I already passed through here? I have. Hmm. There must be something I missed. A dramatic black substance has accumulated under the stairs. And this stuff makes me uneasy. What if it comes alive or something? Don't say that, then it will! Nonsensical vibes run all over. They're warm to the touch. Is this some sort of eating? Whoa, whoa, where did everything go? Um, am I lost? I don't remember the hallway being this long before. Keep going. Whoop. A key! Take key? Yeah. Fairly normal looking key. Door with an odd pattern. Okay, so the fairly normal looking door was up here. The key fits. Uh, do you wish to save your progress? Yes. What's this? Am I back at the school already? Paper slip with some rules and regulations. No running in the hallways, no screaming during recess, no escaping ever. What? Classroom 4A. Classroom 56W. What? Let's have some fun, shall we? Entertain me for a while, and in return you get nothing. Huh? Who's talking? Oh! Damn it! <laughs> what the fuck? Do you even know where you are? You chose a one-way trip to hell, kid. Where are you? Well, if you're not gonna help, then be quiet. I'll leave once I find what I came for. This is funk. Unsealed golden letters scattered across the floor. They seem to be rituals with various titles. The mirror ritual, ritual of the well, the bus ritual, the three room ritual. This is the one that I did. These all come in golden letters. Do they all work? I should look into this when I get home. You think you can leave? Now that you can prove that these rituals work, you have no way of going back to tell anyone. The knowledge will die with you. That's... That's a lie, right? You're just trying to scare me. Are you lost? Whoa! That's awesome! This is this is really cool so far. You should give up. You'll never leave this place. Uh doubt. I'll leave this place when I'm one Figures stare at you from the other side of the windows. Alright! Your mother will be devastated to learn that she's now completely alone. No husband, no daughter, everybody left her. How pitiful. How dare you say something like that? You know nothing about me. You couldn't tell your father goodbye back then, and now you won't get to tell your mother goodbye either. What in the hell is going on? What if I told you that someone you know is here with you? Would that make you hopeful? Relieved? I know you're thinking you can escape with them, but these rituals have no way back. They were never designed that way. After all, why would you give your prey an escape? Okay, hi! <laughs> Cat, I know more about you than you think. Let me show you something. This is... What in the hell? Oh! Just what is this place? Huh.
so? What do you think? I can see everything that's in your head. You really should make an effort to be more lively. You only have until I decide I'm done playing around with you, you know? And then, snap. Do I just keep running? Oh! 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 Oh, okay. I saw that! No running in the hallways, maybe? That was creepy. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Oh, maybe we're not getting somewhere now. How would you like to stay trapped in here until you die? Uh-oh. 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 Do you like it? I think it's just what you need. What if I just stay completely still? Maybe now you will reflect on the stupidity of your actions. Just stay still. Just stay completely still. In the meantime, I'll just watch you rot away. Shut up! That's enough! Whoever you are, get out of my head. My life is my business. My decisions are mine alone. Let me out of this place. I know there's a way out. There has to be. Please. I want to go home. That's more like it. Oh. I'm back in the hallway. I don't like this. I need to get out of here. This door is open. Wasn't it boarded up? Everything else is locked. I have no choice but to go in. Beheaded corpse. That can't be. How is this possible? I just saw her a while ago. Oh no. I have to get out. Oh? The door. I can leave? I can go home? I don't want to die. No! What the fuck? That was awesome! Oh my god! Oh, I know it was just like... I know it was like a, like a prologue and stuff like that, but... Oh my god. Everyone who completes the survey, who left a comment, our families and friends, thank you. God, this was so good. Curiosity killed the cat. I got a true end. K1. Wow. Wow. Uh, we really appreciate you taking the time to play our little game. It means the world to us. What you have played is a prologue of Paper Lily, a large project we are currently working on. We got an amazing feedback from Co Project Cap so far. And we hope you'll look forward to Chapter 1 coming in January. If you liked what you played, it would help us a lot if you could leave a review or follow our Kickstarter. Thank you so much. I'm definitely doing that. Oh, God. You guys gotta check this game out. There, uh, there must be more ends. 
there must be more stuff that you can do because it said true end down at the bottom so I'm I'm assuming there's there's something but either way I I loved it it was it was freaking incredible I have not played a game like this in so long and it was perfect it was very tense there was there was so much stuff going on and I just Oh, it made me want to just keep going and going and going. While also not want to go forward because it's freaky. Um, yeah. God. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you want to check out the game for yourself, it's down in the description below. As well as the Kickstarter. I'm going to go ahead and put it down there. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.